today. Me and Tuck are going to take you along with us for a small harvest from the garden. We're also going to get into Tuck's health and how the little boss is doing. Let's go! Let's jump right into grabbing a quick harvest from this bed right here. It's December 16th, super late in the season, yet we're still getting nice harvests. Look how beautiful this cauliflower is right here. The de purple cauliflower. We've had some nights get down into the 20s already, yet the beds are still pumping out food. You can see some white flies in there, but that's okay. Let me peel this back a little bit. Tuck's gonna probably want a snack from this too. So look how beautiful that cauliflower head is. We've got some more that are ready also. Come this way a little bit. Let me put that one right there. Check out this white head right here. Look how beautiful this one is. This is the amazing cauliflower. Look at that. You got the white, looking nice. You got the purple. Beautiful. Let me grab a quick, quick cabbage from right here too. Look at this beautiful cabbage here. This is the early Jersey Wakefield. Peel that back. So we were getting cabbage early in the season and cauliflower. That's how we like to finish off the year. Besides growing some other really good cold hardy greens, like come back over here. We've got the Russian kale, which is one of the most cold hardy. We've also got some stuff back here, like look at that. The red vein sorrel. Sorrel is such a good producer late in the season. Plus we have some other greens and stuff in different kinds of beds. But it's nice to get this up. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's already, he's already, already grabbing some cauliflower. Let me bring it to a different section over here after I just grab a little bit of lettuce. Look at this, fresh romaine, mid-December. Love to see it. Look at that. It's fantastic because just take a pan around. It's nice having greens this late in the season when everything has kind of gone to sleep. The food forest looks different when it's like, when it's uh, winter time. It looks almost barren, but I think it's really encouraging for some people to see the difference from how you can just go from something like barren backyard where it looks like there's not much growing, then spring and summer come and it's just loaded with food. Let's see if Tuck wants a snack of some of this stuff. What do you think, boy? Try one of the white cauliflower. Let's see, this guy loves his cauliflower. Let me see, get a nice piece for him. It's probably so sweet too, this late in the season. Let's take a little piece here. They're kind of big heads. He's really getting in there. Here you go, Tuck. Here you go, boy. What do you think? <laughs> he loves his fresh snacks in the garden. He earns everything he gets. That's why he's the boss. That's why he's the guardian of the garden. That's why he's the king. And that's how you know this stuff is Tuck approved. Look at him, <laughs> going right for it. He knows this stuff is sweet and delicious. Right, boy? Let's let him have some fun with that. I'm gonna try a little piece myself. Let's take a little piece from the outside here. This late in the season, fresh cauliflower, can't beat it. It's amazing how like the cold weather makes things sweeter. It's uh, Unbelievable to be able to just have fresh food just like that. So we encourage everyone to just grow as long as you possibly can through the season. Start early and late and then you only have a small gap of time where you're just like uh, preparing and waiting for the next season to be able to eat some delicious food. Me and Tuck wanted to mention while we have you here to check out some of his own merch down at jamespritchyoni.com. We also just opened up a new site, teamgrow.us. So it's a link to jamespritchyoni.com too so you can just use that uh, same URL check out some of the stuff. We've got a bunch of new products we added to. We're super happy with the way it looks and we're uh, really just like motivated to have a fantastic year next year. Let's move over to a different bed. I wanna grab one or two more snacks and just let Tuck have a taste of a few different things. Let's pop into the old food forest, check out a few things and grab a little snack for the boss. I wanna show you this right here. This is the honey crisp apple tree. It's amazing the contrast from during the growing season to now. It looks barren. It looks like it's never gonna produce. It almost looks dead. But then a couple months from now, it's gonna be loaded with honey crisp apples. Uh, it just gives me so much respect for gardening and just the changing in the seasons. So right here, we've got another bed. I want to grab a radish or two for the boss. We've got some more cabbage and stuff ready, but let's grab a radish, see if he wants one. What do you think, dude? What do you think? Grab a fresh radish, radish. see if he wants it. Come here, boy, this way. Oh, let's see. He, he hates the ends, so we'll snap that off. It's kind of a big one. 
See if he wants to go for it. What do you think? Take a taste. Want to taste? So I'm, I also want to go in a little bit about Tuck's health. So we got into it last year where I, where I kind of explained some of the issues Tuck was having. And at that time of the year, at that time, I was a little more worried than I am now because he's made a lot of progress and he's gotten a lot better just overall. You can see how handsome and how good he looks. We'll let him snack on that. But um, so what happened was uh, Tuck was kind of diagnosed with a collapsing trachea, which is super common with these kind of dogs. He was really struggling with it, especially last year. We were trying to find like a kind of regimen that would allow him to do a lot better. So what we did was we went to a place called North Star Vets and they're really good over there. They got him in with an internal medicine doctor and then now we've got him on some, a few different kinds of medicines that have like made a huge difference in his overall life, his happiness. And it's uh, kind of brought the boss back to working full time. Last year he was working almost part time because he was struggling so much, but now he's kind of back to being the boss, back to being the little nuisance who just goes out and harvests all the stuff on his own. You can see he's just a happier dog than even he was last year. So originally they had him on a really lot of prednisone, which is not good for him. My former vet, and it was just, he was struggling as a result of that. Now with my new vet, we've got him on a, a few different kinds of medications. One that has helped him a really lot is a dog inhaler. So the, he's got like this cute little inhaler and uh, we give it to him twice a day. And this is medicine called fluticasone. And we give him some in the morning and some at night. And it just, I guess, opens up his airways or something, but it's a steroid that doesn't have negative side effects like the prednisone does. Because, um, because his tra trachea is collapsing, he needs something that's kind of anti-inflammatory. So the prednisone is anti-inflammatory, but it has negative side effects. When the fluticasone does a lot of the same things, but it doesn't have negative side effects. So it's just, we're happy that we've got him essentially almost all the way off the prednisone. He was taking a good amount of prednisone at one point. Now we've got him down to taking 1.25 milligrams only in the morning. And soon we're gonna, I hope, eliminate all that because prednisone is one of those things you have to just slowly wean the dog, wean people off of. You can't just do it all at once. It's like not good for their health. So me and Tuck wanted to send a huge thank you to everybody. Last year and just through the year, there's been so much support for him. There's so many people asking questions. That's why I wanted to make this video today to kind of just fill everyone in on how he's doing. And uh, we're just really happy with his progress overall. There are a few more things me and Tuck want to share before we let you go. We're excited about these kinds of things, so I just thought it'd be a good idea to fill you in on them. One is the African drum gourds. Check this out. Uh, we're drying these out. Me and Tuck have some really awesome ideas of, with what we're going to do with this. They need a couple more months and they should be all ready to like harden and ready to be used. This one didn't uh, make it. I guess it wasn't finished by the time I brought it out. It wasn't finished like ripening on the vine. I should have just left it there longer, but we're learning as we go. These ones look really good though, and I think we're going to be able to make some really cool stuff out of them. Right, boy? So, uh, Tuck has been out here every step of the way. We've been making videos together for over 10 years. Since the first video he's been here, he's been a huge supporter of the channel. He's been the heart of the channel, essentially. Right, boy? He's always working out here with us. That's why we also wanted to fill you guys in. Some of you have been following the channel for a long time, and you have, like... You love Tuck almost, I mean, not as much as me, but close to as much as me. And you respect all the hard work that he always puts in. And he just brings so much joy to me, to the whole garden, and to so many other people, and motivates so many people. So we wanted to fill you in on exactly how he's doing, to kind of bring you in and uh, just let you know that things are looking good. Things are looking up for next year. And me and Tuck have a lot of plans for next year. We just, uh, like we're already getting the gardening bug. We feel super motivated. This year, 2023, was by far our most successful growing season ever. We produced more food than we ever have. All, a lot of our trees produced incredibly well. We feel like every year we're just getting better and better because we're learning, we're refining, and then we're building on all the information and the knowledge that we learned over the years. And that's allowed to kind of compound and then we're able to use that knowledge in the future. And those are things we're really excited to share even moving forward. A lot of the stuff we've learned because now that we've been doing it for a good amount of time, we feel like we've got a better handle on um, consistent level of productions. I'm also going to be almost redesigning like just a lot of the garden. There's a lot of exciting stuff in the near future. We're going to be sharing that with you. I'm going to be just getting into more detail of, of step by step kind of how to go from you know, a barren spot to a super productive garden. And I don't mean like barren in regards to fruit trees, but fruit trees are our long-term investments. 
but it's fun to be able to have annuals every year that you start from a clean slate and then you could go from you know an empty empty spot to like a high level of production pumping out insane amounts of food that's the things we want to share with you guys so that you could have those same opportunities to eat fresh organic homegrown food right from your backyard just go out there grab it and start to eat that's like in our opinion that's living the dream right there that's today's video goers thanks for watching we hope you enjoyed it we hope you got something out of it this video was a little more talking not as much action but that's kind of how it's like at this time of the year this is a time kind of of introspection for us where we can look back see how the year went see how we can improve and then start making those improvements today because it's all about the investments we make now in the off season that are going to pay dividends in the spring in the summer and then just make us able to focus on the things that are important at that time of the year so once spring comes we want to have everything ready to go and all we have to do is kind of just plug our stuff in, let it grow, and then just uh, move on to harvesting. So now is the time to start getting some of those things done. And uh, we're just excited to start putting in the work and going from transitioning from 2023 to 2024. The little boss is out here. You know it. So this video was kind of more about him. If you love seeing him in the videos, spam some hearts down low. And, uh, you know, nothing makes me happier than seeing him happy. And... I just wanted to, again, thank everyone for their kind words, their prayers, their insight, and sharing information, things we could do for him. There was a point in the past where we thought we would possibly have to put him through surgery, but it doesn't look like that's going to be in the cards anymore. And we're really looking, looking forward to the spring. This guy is really looking forward to it, too. He's got a lot of work to keep all the squirrels out, keep all the chipmunks out. So he's going to be training throughout the winter, so he's ready for spring as well. And... Uh, He's a pretty good guy. He'll be 14 years old in this spring, and we're hoping to get another 50 years out of him if we can, out of him if we can because uh, I don't think we, it's going to be tough to do a garden ever without this guy. You got to have the boss. We don't even know what to do without his guidance. So again, we're all very thankful for like all you guys out there. It means the world that uh, you care and love talk so much. It's uh, it's awesome. We wanted to send a thank you to one of our channel members Kathy Lawrence thanks for being a part of team grow thanks for having your hand in everything we're doing out here it's uh we appreciate you and we appreciate all the um channel members but we also appreciate everyone who just watches and just is uh sharing kindness down in the comments that means a lot to us and to the whole community we're kind of building here what we like to call team grow under that note, we want to mention, check out the new website, teamgrow.us, or you can use the jamesprisjoni.com. We've got some awesome stuff down there. Grab a raised bed, uh, you know, grab some of the fertilizer, grab some add-ons for the raised beds, and just, uh, we're just, you know, really excited about the future. We see fantastic things moving forward, and we're so happy that you guys are going to be a part of that. Tuck and James will be back again real soon. We out.